hear me okay? Now you can, I hear that. Technically, I'm not the CEO of that guy standing right there. My, I, I, am the, <laughs> I am the CRO, so I'm the guy that makes him money. Um, thanks, Bill. Uh, here at Wawa Networks, we are a content distribution platform. It's elegant in, in its simplicity, really, because what we do is we work with content creators, aggregators, uh, and distributors, and, and we work with publishers, and in the middle is the one that pays all the bills, which are the brands. And what we've done is created a, essentially an ecosystem of, well, first we, we solved a problem. that We saw an inefficiency in the market, which was essentially that video content was growing, growing, growing. And all of the people that were creating this content and showing this content to people, the MCNs of the world, the content owners, native brand video creators, video exchanges, they basically were just doing it all vertically. Like, MCNs, I don't know if you guys know what those are, but they're multi-channel networks. So someone like Maker Studios or Full Screen or Condé Nast Entertainment, they create these YouTube, they create all this great content with all these great stars and it's branded content or they have pre-roll in front of it. And what they do is they, right now, all they really do is distribute it on their YouTube channels and they get great, great um, reach, vast viewership. Five million, 10 million views, 15 million views a month. But what they don't do is actually reach scale. They've, they have this one distribution channel that they work with, and then from there, YouTube takes a cut, the advertisers have to pay YouTube, and really all they do is, after that is have people come to their, video, their YouTube channels to watch their things. Um, and so brand advertisers really have the place to do their branded content videos are up against these, in these YouTube places. What we realized is that why not hit the audience? And these sites they go to every day, whether it be entertainment sites or sports sites or lifestyle sites. And so we created a, a, content, a, a distribution platform, a content distribution platform, um, which is basically a, a little JS code widget that sits at the bottom of, of a, a publisher's site on every one of their pages. And right then and there, we can distribute the, the content that they want the audience to show, and it's contextually relevant content because we know the, the audience of these sites, whether it be Barstool Sports and Men's Lifestyle, or the YBF and an Urban Channel, or a Recipe Corner and Recipes. We know that we can then take Nickelodeon, Nick Mom's content, or Sports Illustrated content, respectively, or, or Time Inc.'s content, and distribute it for them across a wide swath of, of distributors, a wide swath of publishers. So we have 80 million publishers that these content owners can actually uh, send out and have their videos viewed. That's 500 million uh, viewable impressions a month for their content, but not only that, the content that they bundle with their brands. And then and the win there is obviously that we have, that those brands get high viewability because it's always 100% above the fold. They get 100% share of voice if they brand the thing. And the publishers like it because they get a huge amount of income. They get, it starts for a lot of these publishers, they started with secondary income, $10,000, $15,000 a month. But for a lot of them, they're doing hundreds, $200,000 a month just through us, excuse me, just through us because we have this, this great, uh, highly visible widget that we, they can push content through. And this essentially is uh, an example of how we do it. At the bottom there, you'll see the Red Bull uh, branded skinned uh, toolbar, and which, is, which we can run RSS feeds and social media feeds and other kinds of content for Red Bull. And then right next to that, you have a full playlist, whether it's a music playlist, custom music playlist, for the, for the video, for the brand itself, then if they want to target some sort of particular audience with some sort of particular playlist, or if they want to actually create a, basically a toggle down box for all their video and all their episodic series, and episodes in the series, then they can do it right there. And so the user can come, play with that, watch whatever video, whatever episode they want to play, they want to see. And here right there is how it's executed. That's how it manifests itself in this 100% above the fold, autoplay, polite sound, um, piece of content, whether it be ad and branded content or a bundle of branded of an ad and branded content with possibly a piece of uh, a video behind it. And it can be long format, it can be short format. It could be a Johnny Walker campaign, like from Unruly, for instance. It could be a, a, a series from Chevrolet that actually 
has Chevrolet on stage, so there's a musical component to it. Because all of this was built on the our original idea was to take the playlist capacity that Pandora and Spotify have made popular, and they've softened the ground for this, and put it in the hands of every publisher out there. If you're a person that goes to these sites every day, you know that you like their content. So the, the publisher gets to use the ability to create content lists for you to come and engage with them more. And so that allows this publisher, for instance, Uproxx, to get more ad dollars from someone like Red Bull or someone like AT&T or someone like Sprint that already has, wants to give them $100,000, we can allow that to grow to $200,000 because we have given them an audience extension platform and a revenue extension platform. And that's pretty much it. It's, like I said, it's pretty simple. I'm, I'm surprised I took four, four minutes and 30 seconds to do that.